the sunshine on up here to make it clear. I lost my voice, baby. That's why you brought me here. <laughs> This is the segment where two gays and a hetero recap RuPaul's Drag Race. We are doing All Stars Season 5, Episode 2 fun. today. It's pretty fun. It's a great episode. Who's the hetero, you might be asking yourself? Well, if you think ah! it's this guy, you'd be wrong. What? Nah, I what? totally like pounded. Whoa, bro. Bro, you bro, like you need to respect women. Whatever, you got fired from Zoomies. It's not my fault. I was eating a sandwich on my lunch break. We told you lunch was 30 minutes, dude. Not 33. That's my 30 minutes, you too. Right, you cut into other people's lunches, bro. Talking about company though. Can Chick-fil-A delivers to our store. You don't have to- Not leave. anymore than Chick-fil-A. Guys, we are getting way off topic. Sorry, you're right. It's <laughs> fun. If we were in a group challenge, we would do really well. Yeah, yeah. they'd yeah. be like, now dance would be like, wait, what? What? <laughs> okay, so. Bro, 33 minutes. I hope this video is 33 minutes. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, so after eliminations, we've got Juju B throwing the shade of all shade. Well, I did vote for you. Yeah, she voted for like, me. Like, straight up. Just told that bitch to her face. I wasn't shade. That was just honest. And then Mayhem's like, like no we're joke. friends. You're joking. Bitch, I ain't joking. Oh, yeah, she's I'm joking. not joking, bitch. No. <laughs> There's a lot of drama this with, episode with that and the Miss Cracker. They're doing a lot of forced drama. They're like, all right, we've got the India and Derek mm. drama's gone. we got to refill it twice as much. India brings it up in her performance in the Maxi Challenge. She brings up the Derek drama. Derek ain't here. Yeah, it's like, okay, we're next. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. And we've got Ms. Cracker and, and, and Aunt Aunt Gina. Gina. Because oh. Ms. Cracker just decided to have the audacity, right, to just be like, what? I just couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> Bitch, take a Benadryl! Shit, oh. goddamn. She's sitting here thinking that she should have pulled a Bendela. Like, yeah. oh. first off, who gave you permission? I wish I had some white out. I'd put Miss Cracker to sleep. I bet she would. There's a lot of like drama like just right off the bat. It was yeah. like, it was weird. But yeah, it I felt, don't know. the like, editing did feel a little bit forced. I do, Dan, I didn't even think about that when I was a watching it. A lot of it forced. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it. Okay. And it's like all these queens smoke and they're not letting them smoke for the first week of Dragon. Okay, race. And, and they're, they're all anxious. Acting crazy that 72 shit. hour, like, like, what the like, is going on? <laughs> everyone's hit like a three day point and they're like, <laughs> and they're like, RuPaul's Drag Race, now drug test. And they're all like, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh. Sorry if that was really loud, but. <laughs> That's the hetero way. All right, so the Ru announces the maxi challenge. A mini challenge. Yeah, we don't yeah, need that hoe. She gone. Bye. She, Bye. She, she was oh. like, oh, this one's worth 20k. We don't need no mini mm -hmm. bullshit. Whereas usually when we do the dance challenge, we get like five minutes of screen time in total. They gave us like all of the mini challenge time plus then. I kind of right. liked it actually. Yeah, so it, it was, was it, focused all on the maxi. Well, and it was, that's a really big challenge. Yeah. They do that with a few of them. It's Snatch Game is the same way. And I oh. think the makeover challenge is also I, the same way. I don't think they've. I don't think I've ever paid attention or noticed yes. that there wasn't a mini challenge. I'll do my research and I'll have an answer by the next. Time I am so report. wow! I feel so. Insane. All right, so <laughs> maxi challenge <laughs> this week. We've got three groups of three, and they are performing a verse in an original song. The Starbucks at the mall was cleaning as they were closed tonight, and they were playing "Read You, Wrote You" in there, like what? As they were scrolling. Oh my forward. God! Work queens. I yes. know. I was very proud to represent. Them. So, uh, so anyway, so they do this. What's their song called? Jim. I'm in love with him. I already forgot. Yeah. It's, I don't, <laughs> there's, there's your hot. I just love. Here's your hot hetero take. I don't remember the song and how it went. I think it was called I'm in love with Jason Momoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it Whatever. was essentially a pick a bit like a man crush and write a verse about it. It was really cute. Who would you write about? Jason I'm, Bateman. Jason Bateman? Jason Bateman. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Paul Rudd. Oh, damn. That's a good one. Paul Rudd. That's a pretty good one. Oh, man. Because my other In one... Clueless. Paul Rudd in Clueless. You write your man crush verse about. Yeah, who's your man crush verse about? Well, first off, I'd have to 
Give him the green light. So, John Legend. Yeah. Wow. So you say John Legend? John Legend. Wow. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's hot. That's okay, hot. cool. So right. there was one thing that I thought was hilarious. So when Blair was doing her recording of her song, she was like, oh my god, this. She just wouldn't. She was just like, they're like, okay, so let's uh, do some breathing techniques because you're obviously like stressing out. She's like, yeah, and then she started like spilling all of her like feelings again. It's like I just get so worked up in my head. It's like, yeah, remember the last time you did this when you totally just like talked about all this pain and suffering you've been going through, and then you got eliminated, and it was just really awkward for me as a viewer. God. Because literally last week Dan called that Blair was gonna have this moment and this happened, so it's kind of funny. And then the guy that was helping her record, he was just like, "Less talking, more breathing." And I was like, <laughs> "And she's like, yeah. yeah, right, blah blah blah." And she kept talking like uh, she was not really getting the. Point. I don't know what it's like to be around people that just talk all the time. Uh... Poor Angina oh. and her voice oh. or on oh. and she like oh. everything was just oh my bless her heart oh. like it literally sounded like she went to sleep with wet hair and slept with the fan on and like, uh. like it was just bless her heart what is that but was it was it real like, yeah I couldn't. yeah it's, it felt pretty real to me well she even said like it's been coming on for the past week and so like this is probably like the max of the strain they made it work. It didn't sound horrible, but like... I mean, I guess they had enough pieces. Yeah, they were like, fuck it, let's just, just put together. They were all, they auto-tuned that shit harder mm -hmm. than T-Pain, dude. <laughs> because when she was recording, she was like... <laughs> dude, literally, there were some times she'd go to make a note and be like, what? My name is Unchina, and I'm here to make it clear. I lost my voice, baby. That's why you're probably here. <laughs> When Cracker had that emotional breakdown. Oh, yeah. And she was talking about how she didn't want to be perceived as as this bitch and, like, you know, this, like, problem and difficult. And, like, she said that that was, she had, that, like, a Pavlonian response to that. Right. I felt so triggered. You know, she's just classic projecting. You're the one who views yourself as someone in a cage and you can change that. Ms. Cracker. Ooh! Damn! Believe in yourself! Damn, yeah. Daniel! The hetero believes in you. Back at it again with the straight shade. So, main stage. Oh, now the main stage! How do we feel about Rue's dress? Um, oh my god, this dress was amazing. Yeah, this was, was, this was fucking killer. Night and day um, from the last episode. Like, yeah. the eye makeup. The, oh, yeah, the eye that. makeup was phenomenal. Rue is giving you body this season. Like, actual yeah. curves and, like, a shape and not just, like, Thin Rue who just did a lot of <laughs> gonna show you some leg. We've got some guest judges this week. Yes! We got Tessa Thompson. Tessa motherfucking Thompson! Valkyries up in this piece. Oh my god. I literally, like, my basement was flooded. And then we got mm -hmm. one of the English-speaking members of KDA up in here. Okay, and I had no idea. Madison Beer. I didn't know. Did we have anything to say about this performance? Like Juju's song lyrics, like she's so good at singing that when she she yeah. made it sound comedic, like it almost sounded like Rebecca Black's Friday. Like, oh my god! The way she sang it, and I was like, this is. I could see song. that. All right, I was really living for. Honestly, I liked Mariah's verse. I, I thought it was too. really funny. I actually did. Like so it. like, fuck my drag, right? But I thought it was good. Mm -hmm. um, she's, I feel like she's just been like, I didn't know. I haven't f like none of. Oh, hold on, let me put my fucking brain back in my skull. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> just she's been flying under the radar, except for her her like little artistic piece. Like that was super good. Ooh, okay. But other than that, she's like she's like really quiet. Like I've never seen them cut to her and she's talking. It's India Affairs contour is still too dark for me. Like, well, her contour matched the stripes of her dress. Girl. Like, it matched her face. Oh my god. Even I caught that. Madison Beer seemed like she would team Derek the way she would go on India, so. <laughs> India's performance was campy. Still bringing up the Derek thing. I was kind of tired of it. It was very much mayhem in her eyes. Like, I was kind of over it. Right. Uh, we chose red this week, you guys. 
Red eyes. Oh, um, yeah. Next what week, color are Mayhem's contacts? Put down in the comments what color you think Mayhem's eyes will be next week. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, <laughs> bitch. I love this game. Oh, my God. Okay, so but I got white and red. If they go back to white, you get twice the payout. <laughs> what are we paying out? I don't know. This dick. If I get a subscription, but yeah, shame, shame one. But Mariah was definitely second for me, and I just I gotta stand by that. I don't understand how Rue didn't see it, but mm. I guessed whatever. all of them right, except for India. I put it safe, and she was in the bottom. I put Juju as a t second top, but I didn't realize they were only gonna choose one. Mm. Oh, I straight up put Mayhem at the bottom, and that was the only person I put at the bottom because I was her performance was boring to me. And I was like, ooh, Angina is going home. And then... Cracker had a moment of self-accountability. Like, and it wasn't just her. Jujubee did it earlier when she was apologizing. She said, no, that's not an apology. Yeah, that was cool. And then, like... Good on her. But mm -hmm. <clears throat> Cracker did it in her own way. And that situation was so awkward. Alexis, <laughs> Alexis Mateo was like, oh my god, I need to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, where did that come from? That was so good. Like, this literally. is why I I want her to be top four because she she's is so funny, good but and hilarious, and I love everything she's like. Or, her, or she's just like her little sexy. aside moments are my favorite. Yeah, for real. Like, give me the cameo. She does throw some nice shade. Yeah, okay. she's a little messy. Okay, so wait, she will crack under the pressure. Who was the lip sync assassin? This week's lip sync assassin was. Alyssa Edwards. <laughs> Alyssa Edwards! Yes! <laughs> Slay, mama. Texas Queen. Texas Queen. Texas Dallas Queen. Queen. Dallas Queen. Dub Represent Mesquite. So. I went to high school in Mesquite. Yeah. Let's well, be real. Years, yeah. Let's be real. The moment that curtain comes up and you see that it's Alyssa Edwards, who had Shay written off as done? I wasn't sure. I, yeah, I, I was also sure. I, I did not know exactly how this was going to go. I just saw her and I immediately got scared because I know what she can but do. I, so, right. well then, can we just ask, like, where where were the death drops? Hashtag RuPaul's rigged watch. Where were the shablams? Oh, where were the shablams, bitch? Where was, uh, give me a high kick, yeah, a like, back bend. A, so where was it? Now, I am not saying Shay didn't kill it. Oh, Shay's lip sync was the best. Yes, she embodied that so song. Good. So good. She like the song says, I am happy when I do the neutron dance. And she was literally like happy, like you felt the joy in her. She was like, like she embodied that song. It was almost like it was overcoming her in a way that her body couldn't handle it. Yes. It was so good. So she absolutely deserved to win that lip sync. But where the fuck was the rest of Alyssa's performance? Mm. Rue told her to keep it at home. I don't and Shay also Shay's look also tied into her crush. Dude, super sick. Shay's she look. Cool Can we body. talk about Shay's look? Oh my god, with the neck and the, the titties and the nipples, nipples and oh my god. Oh, and then every time she moved, nibbles. they would the whole thing hey. moved too. Nibbles. Oh my god. Yeah, them coming for all you uh, flavor of love fans out there. Yeah, all three of you. Hey. <laughs> hey Zach. Hey Zach. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, Flav. <laughs> Flavor, Flav! Hey, New York. It's your brother, Flav, and New York. Those are the other three Flavor of Love fans. New York is in the motherfucking house! Girl, what are we doing? Are we talking about RuPaul? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Oh my god. Just like the UFC fight, Shay slayed Alyssa in like the first five seconds and it was over. Like, wow. Shay won this lip sync. Yes. Oh, hands down. Like, no but problem. I've seen Alyssa bring it harder, and that's all I'm saying. Like, this was not Alyssa at her best, but Shay still beat her. Shay Kule won $20,000. Good on her. Damn. Take your money, bitch. Damn. Mm -hmm. I wish I had $20,000. So, I was right what I said last week as well. I was right twice, guys. Hmm. You were right? Interesting. About what did you say last week? Well, I was right about Blair having a really awkward little singing moment, and then I was right about... It being really awkward when Angina got voted off, so, cause she like oh. as soon as they as soon as Shay pulled out Angina's lipstick, Shay was or not Shay, but uh, Angina was smiling like she was like, "Yep, yeah, this is what I wanted." Well, here we go. So did you say that last time? I said that it's gonna be awkward when Angina oh, well, gets on the footage. <laughs> I did. Well, everyone, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Do you have anything so you want to say to the YouTube world? Yeah, Happy Pride Month. 
Oh. Oh, thanks, Dan. Bro. That was a really good hetero slap. Thanks. Really I'm I'm learning a lot from you. Yeah. You, you teach me. Yeah. Both at the same time. Yeah. What if you're at the urinal? Uh, no hugging at the urinal. Yeah. See, gay culture's different. <laughs> <laughs> I can subscribe, click on these videos down here, and um, wow. And as always, Step for Kitty.